Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to watch my gun impact particles how-to videos. Today I'm going to talk to you about a new feature that just came out with this latest update. Um, so the first thing you'll notice is that we now have a gun in the demo room. It makes it a lot easier to show people how to use the uh, effects. Uh, to have actual, a real example there. Um, so if you left click you have an instant fire gun. If you right click you have a projectile gun. Um, and then included with this update are some new changes to the files themselves. Uh, I did go ahead and update this, uh, the file structure and all the, the naming conventions for the textures and materials and instances uh, to the new standard. Uh, and then I also added some new uh, material functions that we can use. So let's get into that. So what I want to do is make it super simple for people to get into this pack and put it in their existing uh, games without a lot of integration problems. So how I've done that is I've created this new folder called uh, Functions. So we'll go into here, uh, or blueprints, and then everything we have this new struct called F Impact Effects. This effect, this uh, struct stores all the different particles that we uh, want to use for uh, a gun. So we'll get more into that. Another thing is this Impact Particle Library. So this basically is, uh, creates two functions that have been called from any uh, where in any of the blueprints, um, the spawn impact particles. Um, which will actually take the input of a start trace and end trace and then spawn the particles based on, on that. And then the other one is if you don't want to do the extra trace and you already did the trace itself uh, for uh, performance reasons, I don't want to do a double trace. Uh, I'll just take the hit from your last trace and produce the same uh, effect. Uh, just a, a cheaper way of doing it if you already do a trace to get the, the first impact. So there's definitely two options uh, for you to use. So let's go ahead and talk about how to actually use those two functions. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the um, demo room and go to the first person character blueprint, open that up. And then what I have here is I have... Um, uh, actually, I'll actually open the projectile. I actually want to do the projectile on this one. So uh, on projectile, what I have is I have a function called spawn particles. Uh, what I'm going to actually do is disconnect that one, right? And then, so we'll right click here and go to menu impact particles is the category that under. And you'll have to see, see the two that we showed you in the tutorial library earlier. Uh, so spawn impact particles and spawn impact particles from hit. So I'll go ahead and do the first one here. And now what we have is uh, we'll want to send it the, the hit location as the end location. And then we'll want to go ahead and hook that up. And then for the, uh, the start location, we need the actor location. So get actor location of the gun itself. Get actor location or the projectile in this case. And it's the start of the trace. And then uh, for this one, I'll do double the particle size two times. Make sure you change that to one at least because uh, zero will be no effect at all. So be aware of that. And then here is a reference for the in, uh, effect struct. So uh, easy way to do it, quick and quick way to do it is to actually drag and drop this over and do a make new in, uh, impact. The uh, defaults are set up to the default particle systems uh, that I have created. So they already have the uh, all the particles correct. If you want to change those out, you can change those here per gun. So I, I leave that as an option. I'll go ahead and close this up so it's not so big. You can collapse it down. And then that's fed right into it. Uh, you could also create a, um, a struct inside of here, like here, and make a, a new my particles for this specific projectile. And then here we could go ahead and call that struct up uh, F impact struct. And then we could actually, you know, uh, do the exact same thing because these are all the values here and pull that here and then get it and set it that way. So either way would work in this instance. So I'll go ahead and just do it that way. And really this is all we have to do. Everything's else taken care of automatically uh, inside that function. So if we go ahead and um, play this, now when we spawn projectile, it should have a double the size of the effect, which it does. If I do left click, which is the, the old way, uh, and uh, one times part of the size, you see it's smaller. Now the code we just put in was for the projectile. Now you can see that it's actually double the size and it's working for all the different physical materials. So there you have it. That's a, a one new function. Now let's talk about the other new function real quick. So what I'll do is go back to my projectile and um, I'll go back to where I had before I put that new function in. So now I'll go ahead and put this in here. Now we're back to what we were doing. Uh, and just to make sure, I'll go ahead and make sure that's back to what it's doing. And yes, we are good to go. 
All right. So uh, the next thing is, what if you already do the trace by yourself? Uh, and you don't want to do another line trace. So imagine this is where your code come up and you're doing the line trace of where actually you're shooting a gun. So we don't actually want to uh, do the trace again. So now we go back to our context menu, type in impact particles and hit impact particles from hit. And uh, let's go ahead and, and uh, take it into here and the hit result into here. And we'll do the double the size again, makes it easier to see. Uh, and then finally for NFX, uh, we can do it the other way I had shown you, just make one. And that has all the default set up already. And there you go. And we should be able to hit play. Uh, actually, I only want to create this if I hit something. So let me go here and put this here. I pulled out the wrong one. All right, I think we're set. And hit play. And now if I right click, there we go, I have double the size. Everything's working. Just another, another option of setting that up. So there you go. There you have it. I uh, hope you guys like the, uh, the improvements I've made to make this easier uh, to install into an existing system. So if you guys have any problems or any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.